This video will demonstrate how to place an appendix within a document. Now for this I'm going to be creating a new style within this particular document. Now if I scroll down within this document you can see that I already have some heading styles already applied. For example this particular paragraph has got the heading 1 style applied. The next paragraph has got a heading 2. I've got some a normal style applied to all the actual body text. Now from here, if I go to the end of the document and just create some text, which will be the heading for the first appendix. So I'm going to type in TNA, select it, and then apply some basic formatting. Now to create a new style, I'm firstly going to open up the Styles pane. So if I go to the Quick Styles Gallery and select the Dialog Box Launcher. And with the paragraph already selected, if I then select the New Style button. From here, I'm going to call this Appendix Style 1. I want to keep it as a style type and for the style for my following paragraph I want to change change it to normal so I'm going to click on the drop down arrow by default it comes up with appendix style 1 but I'm going to select normal otherwise I just have a series of headings when I press uh, the enter key now I might want to apply some other formatting so for example you'll notice I've already got you'll notice I've got a 12 point size for the actual font I've got the Calibri body now to keep this in line with the other headings, I'm just going to change that to my Cambria Headings font. From there, I'm going to go to Format and select Font. And from here, I'm going to apply an all caps format for this particular text. If I then click on OK and then go to Format again and select Paragraph this time. And the formatting I would normally apply for Appendix is I'm going to go to the Line and Page Breaks and have a page break before. So in other words, the appendix headings will always be at the top of a page. Click on OK. And the final format I want to apply to this appendix style is to make sure it's actually numbered. So I'm going to click on Format. And although you can't see it, I'm going to select the numbering option. From here, I'm going to click on to define new number format. And you can see from the default formatting, I've got a one followed by a full stop. So I'm going to remove the full stop and type in appendix and space to get the actual numbering scheme I actually want. Now from here, if I click on OK, click on OK and OK, and you notice that's actually taken the appendix one to the top of the next page. If I press enter, type in some text, And then if I press enter again and type in delivery, select the paragraph and apply the appendix one style. And you'll see it immediately goes to appendix two. Now, one thing I need to do here is I want to add this to my table of contents. So if I go up to my table of contents, right click and select update field, and update entire table, click on OK. I notice I don't actually get the appendix appearing. What I need to do is change the appendix style one so that it's got an additional bit of paragraph formatting. So again, if I right click into my appendix one to modify it, and from there go to format and paragraph and select indents and spacing and change the outline level from a body text to a level one and this will place all my appendices within the table of contents at a heading one level. So from here if I click on OK and OK and again if I just right click go to update field update entire table click on OK scroll down to the bottom and you'll see that I've got my appendices appearing within my table of contents.